Welcome. We've just finished filming Where You Go, which is going to be released on MITV at the end of this month. We're here in Christchurch Cathedral on the unceded land of the Coast Salish people, the Musqueam, the Squamish, and the tsleil On its surface, Where You Go is really a, a collaboration between Odella Arts and Musica Intima. So before I get to all of the, the wonderful people who've joined me, I want to start with you, Olivia. Olivia Davies, the founding artistic director of Odella Arts. Why don't you tell us who you are and, and what you're about? Thank you, Jake. My name is Olivia, and it's an honor to be in collaboration with all of you. I've been the artistic director of Odella Arts since 2018. I'm Anish Kwe from Algonquin Territory, and I've been working here on unceded Coast Salish Territory since 2011. My work as a contemporary Indigenous dance artist encompasses collaboration, community, creations and of course the beautiful act of choreography in co-creation with dance artists like Antonio and Kelly and it's been a joy to work together with you and Music Intima. It's been our joy to, to have you. I have a quote here that says, I believe that our bodies hold the potential for powerful storytelling. Movement and gesture can connect our bodies to the world around us and facilitate the sharing of our lived experience. What does that mean to you? Yeah. That, those sound like my words. Yeah. <laughs> um, and and yeah, at, the, at the point of it, the lived experience is where I'm most excited for the opportunity to share storytelling through dance and what it means to bring gestures out of the body that live deep in our blood memory, our cells, our DNA, and how those stories are, are waiting to be unfolded by the opportunities that exist in dance and movement and now in song. So turning to the, the dance movement and song, we're joined here by Antonio, Kelly, and Risa, and Stephen. Why don't the four of you introduce yourselves and, and who you are and where you come from? Stephen. Great, I'll begin. <laughs> uh, I'm Stephen. I, uh, I grew up in Langley, just, uh, just about an hour away, and I've been living in, in Vancouver now for uh, about six years. And I've, I started singing with Musica Intima about five years ago, and uh, I've loved every minute of it. It's such a unique ensemble, and uh, and the expression that we're able to achieve, I think, is uh, is what is so special about it, and why we all love it so much. And and connecting with other artists and and other art forms is just uh, such a wonderful experience. So I'm very thankful to be a part of a part of this group, this larger group as well. And hi, my name is Risa Takahashi. I um, was born in Japan. I've been in Vancouver the last 15 years, actually. I didn't think I would be here this long, <laughs> but um, Intima is stopping me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I've been just loving uh, this musical outlet that I get to put all my um, creativity and musicality into it and um, now that we're actually on to collaborating with you know dancers and other art artists that I'm just exploring um, different opportunities and just me as an artist and me as a person you know how far I can go and stuff like that so yeah that's me. <laughs> Um, I'm Kelly. Uh, I'm a dance artist. I grew up in northern BC. Um, I have British and Irish ancestry and I've been living here in Coast Salish territories for a while, 12 years, <laughs> 12 years now. Um, and yeah, this is the third project I've done with Olivia. Um, and I also work as a choreographer and performer for other companies. Um, and kind of at the core of my work, I'm most excited about inspiring collective healing. Hi, I'm Antonio. I am an independent freelance dance artist here in the Coast Salish Territories. I was uh, born in the Philippines and came here as a tiny little child of three years old. Um, this is my first project working with Olivia and it's a very grateful opportunity to be working with her and also with Musica Intima. Um, I dance a lot in locally for choreographers and companies and I try to make my own work whenever I can. 
Um, I guess my root of my practice comes a lot through improvisation, um, improvisation structures, and that can involve street dance, contact, and random weird things. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I want to start first with, with the music. Um, what can you tell us about, about the music that people will hear at the end of the month and how we sort of wove it together? Well, this, I mean, this whole program, uh, you know, we're around Valentine's Day and uh, it's kind of based around, around love and, and loss. And I think those are two really interesting subjects to, to put together because um, they're, they're both so powerful in very similar ways and they bring about uh, very similar feelings and can be so joyful and so exuberant and also so painful. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this, this program kind of weaves those emotions together uh, in, in quite a beautiful way. I'm very excited for everyone to hear it. <laughs> yeah, and just having two composers um, to compare the program, um, I find the Marenzio, the Italian madrigal, is so dramatic in the way he's written and the use, the use of the words are just all there, you know, everything is just right on the page. Whereas uh, David Lang's uh, pieces are more sort of reserved and you get to really feel it internally. And um, so it was just a really interesting uh, comparison of the two, but still singing about the same theme. These, these two composers, Luca Marenzio and, and David Lang, I assume both of them were relatively new for, for you to dance to and for you to choreograph to. How did you find the experience of working with, with choral music and specifically with these pieces? It was exhilarating. It was so much fun uh, to imagine the, 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 like the workings of the moving bodies through the silences, through these beautiful rises and falls. Um, what was especially exciting for me, I think it was in starting with Where You Go, with David Lang's piece and the, the title piece for the repertoire and for this composition, was in experiencing how the, the, the layering of the voices was so, uh, so integral to how, how the rises and falls were happening and then starting to imagine what that would look like through the, the bodies of the two dancers was, um, yeah, it was all just, it was, it, there was a lot of imagery that, that floated through, I would say, uh, even in creation, we were, you know, we were starting to talk about vines and, and, and trees and tree roots moving towards one another and just thinking of how the natural world has all these, has all these beautiful layers and the, and the sediments of the earth and how, you know, when we start to talk about loss and we, when we think of, of the of the spaces where where our where our beloveds land um, through the earth and through the skies, it uh, it really started to to fly, I guess, for me in how in how we would take these these beautiful pieces of music and, and transcend through them with the movement of the bodies. How did you find it working with with live music with choral music? It was amazing, yeah. Um, I think because at first we started with the recordings in the studio and coming into the church and you were all rehearsing. I just remember being kind of like blown away. Like I had to kind of like be like, they're actually singing. Like <laughs> this is the sound that they make. It's incredible. So yeah, just the kind of like energy and power of that is like so um, fuel. It's like fuel in a way for us too, and it's really beautiful to dance to. Well, I love it. I always love live musicians and singers in the space with dance. I think it's just so integral. What to and they complement one another in so many different ways. I am yeah. I'm always so fascinated just because I've kind of grew up with a little bit of choral music through just the religious upbringing, but then I never heard it in this kind of beautiful way where there's still so much space in between. Like, I also learned, trying, growing up learning like music a bit, so I was like, how are they singing without like a time signature, keeping one another? <laughs> how did they know when to come in? I was like, really like, wow, the voice is just like coming from like the background. Um, it's, this was really fascinating to hear, so yeah. 
<laughs> well, and you, you mentioned fuel, and I think we felt that as well. Mm -hmm. Like seeing seeing something in front of us. What did that bring up for you? It was uh, well for the first few rehearsals. It was so tough not to just watch <laughs> <laughs> and to actually focus on the singing because I just wanted to to watch you guys dance. It was so beautiful, and uh, to hear the sounds, well, to see the sounds mm -hmm. being, you know, uh, to watch you guys move move and and. Uh, and experiencing the music in, in that way is is uh, is very different and and really just draws you in. And yeah, I mean, normally we create with just our own voices, which is not visual at all, and we try to send a message towards the audience. But to, uh, this time we had dancers who were physically there to really um, show what our voices are like, and also I think um, you know extra layer for sure, but I, I was trying to imagine that you guys were just the closing circle, you know, from mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. in a way, so that the whole circle, uh, we were trying to just um, send it to the audience today, so. You mentioned some natural imagery. Um, what, else, what else can we expect to see when we're watching? Love, passion, compassion, um, yeah, moving bodies in space that are swirling through dust and debris and finding their way into the lighter layers of, of the stratosphere. I mean, I feel like there's, there's moments where the rises and falls take the moving bodies on a journey that's akin to the tides moving across the beach, um, you know, and then and then there's these beautiful moments of just of, of love and touch and, and, and an expression of, of deep compassion for one another um, in, in the holding of space and the holding of one another's bodies in space. So, so really, I, you know, I leave it to the witness to experience and see what they see as they, as they, as they um, experience the work, but know too that um, these dance artists have really brought their hearts forward for, for all of us to see and to, and to feel. One, one thing you hope that the audience takes away from this, from this production? Well, I think uh, right now in day-to-day -day life uh, in the world, it seems like a lot of people, their first reaction to things is not always love and compassion at the moment. Um, it seems to be, in, you know, impatience or frustration or anger. And I think this entire show is a good reminder that uh, loving first is always going to be better. Um, always. Yeah. Um, for me, it's, it's the connection, the connection with yourself connection with where you are, connection with who you're surrounded by, um, just being aware of that is gonna really lead towards a loving community, loving, um, you know, self. And um, yeah, it's just, I know everybody has got different stories, but I think in the end, just connecting with your internal self of where you are, it's really um, going to be sort of the message that I want them to feel. Yeah. Um, I think just inspired, like, yeah, lots of, there's been lots of struggle and difficult days um, for these past years and just like any little bit of inspiration or light heart um, feels like a beautiful offering for people. Yeah, I think especially through these trying times of what the world's going through, like maybe to find some kind of lightness and almost, yeah, compassion and, and joy for the simple things, I think, because sometimes those things get taken for granted. Beautiful singers, beautiful dancers <laughs> get taken for granted. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's what hopefully they can see. <laughs> I'll echo what's already been said. 
um, and only to add that um, that everyone is drawn back into the experience of performance and how the power of storytelling is what takes us forward into the future. So wherever wherever this lands, you know, um, wherever you are in the comfort of your home, enjoying this experience, come out to experience live performance when you're able to, because our hearts are beating for you and with you. Stephen, Visa, Kelly, Antonio, Livia, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.